if I do everything right from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, I can do it. Do as you're told and obviously your dreams will come true. I never thought I would ever of put a pair of posing trunks on and get on stage. Absolutely no way. Everyone that watched me said that I looked really confident. I think it was probably one of the most scariest things I've ever done. I look back and now think, oh, that was fun. But when I was doing it, I didn't enjoy it. The first time when they said, come out, I was thinking, oh, I don't want to come out, please. <laughs> You've got to come out. So that was, that, that was it. What are you doing? This is her favourite position. It's very abnormal, she isn't it? She stays there. <laughs> <laughs> off, Minnie. Can't take you anywhere. Can I? Showing your nipples off. It's terrible. She wants your food. You can't have my food. It's <laughs> bodybuilding food, isn't it? <laughs> I want to be the best. There's no point in doing anything if you don't want to be the best. Even though you might, you deep down know that you're not going to be, but you still got to put 110% every time you, you, you train and you, you, you're eating and everything. Because remember, the training's the easy bit. That's just two hours a day. 22 hours a day, you've got left to look after yourself. Eat, sleep, sleep some more, eat, and sleep some more. When you're competing, we, me and my dad tend to argue quite a lot before his competition because Obviously, he's on edge because he's got all those things to think about his dieting, whereas I'm just normal, wanting to eat everything and go out and do normal things. So we tend to bicker a lot, don't we, about silly things. Yeah. And then I'm what's... not proud of that, though. No. I can't help it. Yeah, it's... I think it does affect me and his girlfriend a lot when he's competing. Because it gets to the point where he doesn't want me being in the house. Because I'm <laughs> annoying him just being there, you know? Oh, don't make me sound horrible. Yeah, but it's, a, it's the truth, come on. I can't control my thoughts. The diet just make, makes me feel like I'm going insane. Because I just want to be alone. Can't talk, can't move. Even if I want to go to the toilet, sometimes I think I can't even be bothered to get up to go to the toilet. My tolerance levels are at zero. I try and explain it to somebody who hasn't dieted is I kind of feel like I'm making myself sound as if I've gone crazy. Hi, I've just woke up. It's Five past one in the morning. I'm just about to do some cardio. Actually being in here now brings back so many memories. So what I was doing was coming home, going to bed, waking up on an empty stomach and then doing cardio around about one, two, three o'clock in the morning. And I was in here thinking, this is just crazy. Looking at the calendar for my um, countdown up to my competition. I would just look at the calendar and then hopefully before you know it, the, the cardio is over. The dieting is, it separates the men from the boys when it comes to competing. But it's the hardest thing. Very lonely, being in here, there's no one to help you. If you don't do it, you're not gonna win. You're not gonna place. I might be over-exaggerating or I might be dealing with it wrong, but I just found it an excruciating situation to be in. I don't enjoy the lead up to the competition. Well, it's, it's two months of hell, isn't it? Yeah, and as Alicia said, she's, she feels the same way, but the rest of it, you just kind of get used to. I don't like it. I don't know, you're going to say that. I don't like the dieting because he does look a bit ill. And if yeah. I was having beans on toast, you'd yeah. say to me, do you know how much sugar's in those beans? Do you know how much sugar's in that? And I'd say, yeah, it's lovely. It's yeah. really nice, thank you. To see you go through it, it's not enjoyable. It's not enjoyable to watch somebody do it. It's probably easier for the person that's doing it oh, no, it than it is for the ones watching it. Yeah, it's I not nice. So, yeah. 
people say to me, God, you're just like a spitting image of your dad. And I'm like, what am I? I don't think we look anything alike, but we actually are a lot alike. Most people my age going out having fun, and I'm like, yeah, I'll just stay at home. And that's what my dad does, you know, stay at home. He used to talk me how to dance, he wouldn't think it now. <laughs> The main thing we did was indoor skydiving. Like we used to go together every weekend, but it got too expensive, so we stopped. Oh, she was so good. That wind is probably 75, 80 miles an hour, and she's having to hold her, her hands up like that. What she's doing probably looks easy, but really isn't. Did you look in shape then? Have you started bodybuilding or is that No, that's, that's, just, that's just judo, really. The end of my judo career, so I wasn't... Did it end when you had me? Yeah. <laughs> I was competitive at judo, Start, um, started doing judo when I was about six. I was very successful in judo all the way through my junior and esquire years. I had a great career, winning in English nationals, British school boys, all sorts of stuff. It was a fantastic career, but in them days, there wasn't a lot of money around anyway. And having to have your mum or your dad take time off work. With judo, you, you can fight every weekend or every other weekend. And they're not local competition, they could be in Wales, they could be in it, anywhere. My dad started judo when I started, just so we could do it as a family. But it got so competitive, he won the English Nationals the same day I won. There's a big club at Dunstable, and there was a competition there, so we went. We then fought all these different people, he got gold, and I got gold. And then they put it in the newspaper saying, uh, don't mess with the Simons. He used to go and have a look at the medals and, you know, to see what he's going to get at the end. If he did lose at all, I just used to just leave him alone because he's a bad loser. A very, very bad loser. Gets in a half and he whinges and, and he hasn't changed, to be honest. Still the same. I feel like I've been given a second chance in bodybuilding because there is no age limit on there. Obviously, if you're 90 years old, you're probably not going to be able to do it. But, you know, there's great bodybuilders out there that are in their 40s and 50s and still winning and still looking amazing and this has given me another lifeline and I'm not going to let it go no way it's unfinished business which I can't go back and and change but what I can do is start fresh business and do well at it I've got an opportunity to sort my unfinished business out and I'm going to deal with it through through bodybuilding and I won't be happy until I get some other titles under my belt and some good ones.